Hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would pop in really quickly and talk to you about a few things, but the most important thing is I am going to announce in this video the winner of my 10K subscriber giveaway. And before I do that, I want to thank the two companies that have graciously contributed products for my giveaway. And one was Blink, and Blink has given me two of the eyelash serums, some eyelashes, false eyelashes, as well as their most awesome a brow product. And then Adori. Adori has contributed their foot cream, which is absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So they are giving foot cream and baby foot, that little package together. And I'm so super excited because I'll tell you, if <laughs> I love that stuff. I absolutely love that stuff. But I will give you a little caution. If you're going to be doing it, don't do the foot, the baby foot before you're going somewhere special. Make sure you plan it like a month before so that your foot has plenty of time to peel and get the stuff off. I, I mean, every time I go to have my pedicure afterwards, th the nail technician that does my pedicure, she says, I can't get over your feet. And I'm going, oh, it's, my, it's the baby feet. It's the Adori cream. But anyways, so thank you, thank you so much. Plus all the stuff I'm gonna to put together, I'm gonna to put it together next week after the Columbus Day holiday. It'll go out sometime next week, but I'm super excited to, my, to share my winner with you. I'll share that in a moment. But two things I wanna mention before I do that. Actually, three. <laughs> I was uh, contacted by Irresistible Me, and I really, I really couldn't wait to try out their ponytail. I've used their hair extensions. They sent me some of their human hair extensions. They're fabulous. I absolutely love it. So they contacted me and they said, would you like to try our ponytail? So I selected Ash Blonde, which is the same shade as the hair extensions that they sent me, and I selected, I think it was a 14 inch long pony, which is the shortest one they had, and they sent it to me, and I'll tell you, I could not be more psyched to share this with you, but I'm not going to share it with you now. I'm going to share it with you in another video. I just, I was like, I love it. I was like, holy moly. The other thing that I was contacted, I was contacted by a company, Dr. Lily Fan. Dr. Lily Fan. I had never heard of her. She has, I think, this amazing skincare line. She sent me a number of products. But the one that was, and, and one of you, one of my loyal subscribers have raved about this and told me to try it. So this is their probiotic and this is their eye serum and their eye cream. So what I've been doing since I got this all week is I have been morning and night after I remove everything. And you guys know I've been on a quest since the Nivea got discontinued and I've been using that for my fat pockets. So I've been on a quest to see what I could find that might help my eyes. So the lady that raved about this said, this has, she has the same type of eyes as me, very hooded, very crepey, all of that stuff. When she started using this, it was like um, amazing. So I am a week into this and I like what I'm feeling. So I put this on in the morning, I put it on at night, I put it on all the way on my movable lid up to my brow bone. It has a little bit of a sting, not much, and that dissipates pretty quick. I also put it down around here. And then when I'm done that, I will take the cream and I do the same thing. I dab it all around very lightly. I've been doing it twice a day. And then if there's anything left in my hands, I go into my 11s and I go into my smoker's wrinkles and all that. I apply this after I've done my CBD. Removing all my makeup and whatever general skincare I'm doing when I'm washing and when I have my face clean, sometimes I'll tone it depending on how my skin feels. That's when I apply my CBD oil. And at night, at the same time, once my CBD oil sinks in, I do use my Retin-A and I'll put this around my eyes. Now, I since I've been using this, I stopped using the Olay Pro Retinol just while I'm trying this out, just to see if there's a difference. So this was sent to me, NPR, highly recommended by one of you. So I'm super excited to have gotten it. I'm super excited to give it a try. Hopefully I'll love it. The other thing I wanted to share with you, because this is like, I have it on my lips. I know you probably can't see much of anything right now, but this is YSL. And I have never been a huge person that like falls in love with packaging. <laughs> I fell in love with the packaging. I really did. I mean, this is totally, totally exquisite. It really, it really is. 
and they're very, very light, creamy. This is kind of like an oily, balmy texture. The colors I picked were both nude. Oh my gosh. This is absolutely gorgeous on my lips. Now, if you want a in your face red lip, won't do it for you. But if you're sort of a nude girl with a little bit of color like me, lighter lips, this is beautiful. And the other one is like a plumping bomb and it has the most adorable little heart in there. I don't know if you can see it, but oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, it looks like it's going to be a, a color, but it really isn't. It's just this beautiful tint of color. And it just makes your lips feel so good. And I, I'll tell you, this was sent to me complimentary from YSL through the Octoly Network. And I love it. I mean, there's a lot of YSL products that I love. One of their foundations. I've loved their perfumes. I've loved their highlighters. And... You know, there's a lot of YSL products I really like. So for a high-end, I think, brand, YSL has beautiful, beautiful products and beautiful, beautiful packaging. So this I'm trying. I love it. I think it looks really pretty. And I think the packaging is just totally delightful. I really do. So without further ado, oh, oh, I want to just give you a quick update. Um, as of this filming, my dad is still in the hospital. We're waiting for his blood test results. He's had a blood test yesterday, blood test tomorrow morning again. I'm going to go see him first thing in the morning. And if his kidney counts are down, he's going to have a heart catheterization to check out the rest of his heart. And if everything looks good, we're going to be scheduling a valve replacement, which would be the best thing for him. So a lot of it's going to depend on how things go tomorrow and the next day. I had a baby grandson bond. Some of you have seen it on Instagram. I'm going to put the picture in here. He is the most adorable little fella. His name is August Martin. August Martin, a German name. And they call him Augie. And we're calling him Augie Bear. You know, for like a little nickname. Little Augie Bear. And he has the most full head of black hair. It's amazing because my son was born a blonde and has light brown hair today. But his fiance, my daughter-in-law, soon to be daughter-in-law, has really dark hair. So the baby I don't know whether the hair is going to stay dark. The eyes almost look blue, but we don't know yet. He was born Monday night, and today is Thursday. So it's way, way too soon to know. But that was probably the most beautiful gift we had this week, was the birth of Augie, and that he was safely, safely delivered. And now if we could get another gift of health from my father for a little bit longer, he's 91, but he's an amazing man, that would be super wonderful. And today... In the hospital, I fell. <laughs> I went out of my father's room. I kind of slipped on something. My foot went out from underneath me and I went down. My ankle is swollen twice the normal size, so I've been trying to ice it because it hurts. But uh, nothing's broken. Of course, I didn't go to a doctor. That would have been probably smarter, but nothing is broken. I'm just a little bit sore and it's like just been a week. I would like to put behind me except for the birth of Augie. That was like the most amazing thing. This weekend, Columbus Day weekend, I don't know when this will go up, but this weekend is Columbus Day weekend and it is sort of the last hurrah of the summer or the beginning of the fall here in New England. And we do have some camping plans, so I'm hoping we can still make that and do, those, do that weekend. But um, I will, when we come back, mail out the package, contact the companies that have contributed products to the giveaway and, and all of that. So I'm super excited. Congratulations to my lovely winner. And, and I'm excited because I've seen this woman on my in my comments, in my premieres, in my Instagram. She's always been there. She's always supported me. She's always left beautiful comments. So I'm so super happy. Congratulations and thank you all so much and continued prayers please for my dad. Thank you. Drum roll, put the URL in. Oh my gosh, Kathy, yoo Kathy. <laughs> Kathy, Kathy, reach out to me. Let me know your mailing information and oh my gosh, congratulations.